Hi guys, welcome to our 21st trading video at m m Games. So as you can see, how much these videos have improved since our first one. I mean the production quality, all of that has absolutely gone through the roof. And also the quality of the stock that we're getting in, which is what you guys are interested in. So start it off, bit of Tales of Symphonia there on the uh, Nintendo GameCube, 34.99, box complete, absolutely really nice condition. I'll go through these quite quickly. The more uncommon, well, no, more common games. Aero Wings on the uh, American Dreamcast. A sealed copy of uh, Dream Key 1.5. Four Wheel Thunder on the Sega Dreamcast. I think I showed you this last week, but Love Hina on the Japanese Dreamcast. Um, Sega Rally Championship on the Japanese Dreamcast. Soul Calibur there on the Japanese Dreamcast. And no idea, but it's 99p. Let's have a look. Some sort of baseball game which uses the VMU. Wow, that looks awesome. And um, Biohazard Code Veronica. Apparently, this is a rip off of the Resident Evil series that only ever came out in. Uh, Japan so there we go we've got a disc of House of the Dead 2 a disc of Quake uh, 3 Arena Power Stone 2 Tomb Ra Raider The Last Revelations um, Marvel vs Capcom 2 uh, it's like $6.99 there so if you just want the game uh, Marvel vs Capcom 2, ooh, is this is a Japanese one, looks like a little bit of both actually. No, so yeah, sort of a semi box from the instructions in a Fighting Vipers box, didn't realise we had that. Uh, Marvel vs Cap no, Capcom vs SNK, Fight of uh, Millennium Fight 2000 there, 4 99 for the Japanese Dreamcast. Shenmue for the uh, Japanese Dreamcast. Another copy of Shemu for the Japanese Dreamcast. And now, you might have seen this on our Facebook page. It is our amazing, clear uh, Nintendo 64, so Xbox Nintendo 64. And it comes with um, the official controller as well in the same clear um, plastic casing. Forty nine ninety nine with three games, a oh, wicked deal there. So moving on, we've got golf on the NES. Uh, I know a lot of people like collecting the original black label game. So here's one. Well, I'll probably be more of a common one, but uh, at least you got that there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Forgotten Memories. It's actually a prequel to Kingdom Hearts One and Two on the uh, PlayStation 2 there. So any Kingdom Hearts fans, I like this because it's got all the Warner Brothers characters and then the characters from all the Final Fantasy games. That's all the Warner Brothers characters and then the uh, Final Fantasy characters on that one as well. Now some awesome games here. Now this is Super Real Basketball for the uh, Japanese Sega Mega Drive. That's Super Real Basketball. Then also We've got tennis. I believe that says tennis there as well for the uh, Japanese Sega Mega Drive there. Okay, now some UK Dreamcast games. Fighting the Vipers 2. Box great condition. Then we've got Resident Evil Code Veronica. And this game is apparently actually a rip-off of the Biohazard games that also are uh, made by... Um, IDOS down there, oh, there are the creators of it, um, so it's a bit of a rip off of the Biohazard games. Okay, so we've got Resident Evil 3 Nemesis here, the uh, it's a prequel to Code Veronica, and then we've got Street Fighter Alpha 3 for the Dreamcast. There, now there's a nice little gem here which you don't get very often. It's a four in one, it says three in one, it's a four in one. Uh, action replay, or let's say three in one. It basically it plays, let you play import games on your action replay. It lets you save all your data 
and it's got the one and four meg expansions in so it basically does everything in one cartridge so I mean I've got one of these myself and it's great for playing all the um, well I actually use it for playing the PAL um, games because I've got a Japanese um, Sega Saturn now moving on to swiftly on to Japanese Sega Saturn I've got Assault uh, Assault Assault Suit Lanos 2 I guess the sequel to the first one there you go now this is all Japan Pro Wrestling featuring Virtua so it looks like some sort of Japanese wrestling game there and uh, Toshinden so you're probably more familiar with the PlayStation version of Battle Arena Toshinden apparently this is the Sega Saturn one the guy who traded it in so it's got slightly better than the PlayStation version not having played it or knowing anything about it, I can't really back that up but that's what he told me um, Panzer Dragoon uh, 2, Sway, I think I said that right and then we got Last Bronx, another great beat em up for the Sega Saturn uh, a little bit of a favourite one of mine, uh, Digital Dance Mix there was some, some beautiful lady on there, she looks like Lucy Loot on me, she's a right, right a stunner and on, and on the back there, there's um, I think there's the same girl, I'm not quite sure if it's black and white, I can't see the colour of her hair but um, awesome game there and then we've got Christmas Nights here and let you know we've also got the controller to go with that as well and then we've got Sonic Jam this was all of the original uh, Sonic games, like Sonic 1, 2 and 3 and I think there was like, sort of a Sonic 3D kind of weird game on there as well We've got Fighters Mega Mix. I think we've got, no, no, it's Fighters and Vipers. Fighting Mega Mix there, Japanese work version. Then we've got Bubble Symphony, which obviously you can see it's uh, from the Bubble Bubble uh, characters there. And on the back we've got some uh, sort of screenshots there to give you an idea of what type of game it is. But I guess it's a sort of platformer. Now I'm not quite sure what this is. So DX Heard, DX Heard, DX Heard, something like that. And it's not about the wrestlers from WWE. It looks like a one-on-one -on -one beat em up. And now this looks like a cracking game. Pretty Fighter X. There we go. So it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter with some pretty girls. There you go. Looks awesome. Uh, Breakthrough. And uh, with sort of a Russian theme. So it's called Breakthrough and it's got a Russian theme. What game do you reckon it's like? And then we've got uh, SNK Classic here, World Heroes Perfect. So I guess this, not knowing too much about this, some sort of a uh, combination of World Heroes 1 and 2 came on the Sega Saturn. And then, <laughs> oh, I saved the best to last. Let's just zoom in on Kylie there. That's for the Kylie fans in the audience here. We've got Street Fighter, the movie, the game. And it's real battles on film, so I can't. By no way is it ever the best Street Fighter game. It's probably the worst Street Fighter game. But uh, if you want something to have a bit of a sort of bash around with your mates, it's um, probably a bit of a laugh there. So it's got kind of the style of sort of Mortal Kombat, but not that good. Okay, so finally, this is for my mate Prab, who always comes into the shop. I'm just going to go through the um, 3DO games we got. Okay, so first off, we've got Starblade, uh, Mega Race. I mean, price is really to sell them. Uh, Phoenix 3, uh, Balls, the Director's Cut, another SNK game, Samurai Showdown, uh, Starfighter. Lowest price guarantee, nine ninety nine at EB Games. But we're doing it for six ninety nine. There you go. Uh, Jex, Gex. Um, got a bit of attitude, didn't he? Okay, then we've got Street Fighter Two Turbo. That's probably the best version of Street Fighter Two, apparently. Now we've got all the way up. Look at this long box of Shockwave. Yeah, it's actually just quite a smart game, actually that one. Okay, so there you go. Please like, subscribe, share, pass on, tell your friends, reply, leave us comments. I think I left a few little, uh, maybe a few errors in some of my descriptions of the games there. So 
maybe you can put me right on a few of those errors I put in there and um, oh one last thing I should have said this at the start of the video we're doing three for two on all PlayStation 1 games and Game Boy cartridges that's three for two on all of those so if you're looking for some cheap um, PS1 games please give us a shout thank you very much